Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you knit with ease, confidence and joy. So what we're going to talk about today is the knit along again and the big question is why on earth would you join a knit along in the first place? I must admit I hadn't heard of knit alongs until I just started coming online a bit more. Um, it was just not something that I'd come across and I'm sure these things were working really well in yarn stores for many years. Just saying, right everyone, let's knit the same pattern and we'll sit around a table once a week or once a fortnight and before you know it we'll have knitted something. Because there are lots of reasons why you would join a little along. So the first reason is that you can grow in your knitting by joining a knit along. You will learn lots of new skills. And it may be just a couple of new skills. It may be just refreshing your memory on a few skills as well. But it can also be something that can make you say, actually, I've never knitted anything like this before. I'm going to really go for it, learn pretty much everything I need to know um, about this technique or this kind of knitting. So perhaps you've never knitted socks before. There's a knit along for sock knitting and you just say, right, I'm going for it. So just as an example with this one that we're doing, you'll be learning slip stitches with two colors. You'll also be learning um, or refreshing or continuing if you already know about knitting with circular needles and knitting in the round. Knitting with so many stitches on a circular knitting needle can actually be a bit confusing as well. So that's really going to help you get started with that if you're brand new to this. What it might also help you do is use new yarns that you might not have used before and perhaps use colour combinations that you may not have used before as well. It can just give you some ideas, perhaps move your edge and move you into a place where perhaps you've been keeping safe with your yarn and your yarn colours for a while and just say I really want to try something new. I, I, I will, I'll just do it, I'll just go for it with this option, with this knit along, it can really give me um, something to just help my knitting grow. So the third thing about a knit along is actually, it's no other way, not many other places where you can find this, this kind of accountability with your knitting. If you're sat at home, you're knitting something, it might be someone nagging you to get it done because, oh I want to wear that jumper, where is it, haven't you finished it yet? That isn't helpful, accountability. <laughs> accountability can be really helpful in the knit along. You are getting from one place to another within the knit along. That accountability of saying we're getting to this point, we're gonna have this discussion then, and at the end, we're all gonna share how far we've come. It will really keep you accountable into your knitting routine, your daily knitting, or your regular knitting, as and when you knit during the week. And it just means that you keep on going. You don't put this pattern down and think, oh, I'll just knit something else instead. You're really accountable to keep using this pattern, picking up these needles, using this yarn, and keep going with it. And this can be really helpful, especially if you've invested into it. If you've paid a lot of money for, use, for doing lots of workshops within a yarn store, then that can be really keeping you accountable to say, yeah, I've paid £50 each week to go and learn this new thing and then we're carrying on with the knit and learning this new thing the next week. You've paid for all of these six weeks of courses and it means that you're going to learn a lot, but it means that because you've already paid, you really feel accountable to keep going. That is the kind of accountability you will get in a knit along. You won't get it in many other places when you're knitting. In fact, I can't even think of another place where you would find it. It's just a knit along where you would get that. So this fourth reason is motivation. The motivation comes from people cheering you on, going, yeah, you got your 10 rows in today. Congratulations, you finished that colour stripe this week. And it's the motivation that goes back and forth between the knitters that just keeps you going. And that outside motivation can really help keep you knitting. And it really shows you exactly what it is that you love about knitting. Sometimes we can forget and the needles get put down, especially at this time of year. If you've been doing a lot of outside activities and that means that you haven't been knitting as much, you can actually forget how useful and what benefits you get from knitting in the first place. So just building it up, picking it up regularly, um, daily or three times daily, can really, really help and that motivation from others can keep you going and show you again what 
knitting means to you and why you'd started doing it and continue doing it in the first place. Number five is the experience of knitting with others. Like I said, you don't get this in many places, especially if you're knitting by yourself at home, that's it. People will show you that you're not alone. You're not the only person knitting this pattern. You're not the only person using this yarn. The experience that you get from just being in this community can be so helpful. You might talk about a few other things as well inside the knit along, not just the actual knit. It might be just a couple of other things that come up in conversation. So you feel, oh great, well that was a brilliant experience. Not only that, when you finish the knit, when you're using the knit eventually, then you'll say, oh, I remember that experience. I'm going to love and cherish this knit. And that can be such a great way of keeping you going and making you come back to knit alongs as well. It's not just the single experience that you'll remember. Oh, I was in the forum and I was chatting that day. It can be really uh, memory built and you will keep coming back to that and remembering how wonderful it was to be inside that with everyone else. And the sixth brilliant thing about knit alongs is that you'll share problems and mistakes. You're not the only one. <laughs> You're not the only one doing this simple mishap and making that mistake and wondering why this happens. And then someone will come along and go, well, actually, that's not a big problem. All you have to do is this. And you go, oh, I never realised that before. And before you know it, not only have your skills in how you knit something and the different abbreviations and techniques that you use have grown but the ability to fix your mistakes too and just understand your knitting that bit better too those things can be really really helpful definitely come along to the knitting knowing that it's not just the experience and the skills and the techniques that you're going to learn it is also the problem solving that you'll learn as a knitter as well okay so why would you want to join this one with me? Well, I think the biggest first reason might be, and I am asked and I'm sent emails saying, how can I knit with you? Are you in a knitting store? I don't have a brick and mortar store. So it's just me in this studio, very small. <laughs> um, and that's how I knit online. But how can you knit with me? Well, this at the moment is the only live thing that I have going and running at the moment. If you want to be able to ask me questions, get problems answered and dig into my 40 years of knitting experience, along with not just the skills and techniques that I have inside me and the problem solving ideas, but also the way that I knit too. I know a lot of you um, are following the channel because of what I teach about and that is confidence, ease, joy with your knitting. It's the mindset of knitting, it's how we benefit from knitting in the long run and in the short term as well. So if you want to grasp hold of that then then you can definitely come inside and get in touch with me on a much more of a one-to-one -one level. So the second reason you might want to join this one is that for the first time in the summer we changed the knit along for um, experience to a forum based experience it had previously been a weekly or a fortnightly live call which meant that you built up your questions and we talked about it at the end of the week now you can answer the questions any single day of the week any time any time anything happens and i'm in there daily to go and answer your questions, to help you with it, and to cheer you on as well, and to say, congratulations, you got those 10 rows in today. It means that you're not waiting for a solution, and you're not trying to solve it yourself, and unraveling, or doing something that maybe just isn't gonna help you, and make it maybe even worse. So, definitely the fact that it's forum-based has really improved it, and I'm so pleased that we did this. The Academy website has meant that we can do this, and it's, made it a lot better for us. It's made it a lot easier for you to keep in touch with every other knitter as well and keep knitting all the way through it. And of course, most importantly, the video tutorials for this absolute knit are in there. It's not just, here's how you cast on and here's the knit and pearl stitch. It is, I'm knitting this and I'm filming it while I'm knitting it. So do not panic about wondering 
how to knit something. You've got my teaching. If you like the abbreviation tutorials, if you like the tutorials that are here on Knit with Hannah, even if you've been inside the courses and you bought some of them before, then you know the kind of depth that I go into in these tutorial videos. So that's what you're going to get as well. Um, there will be video tutorials for a lot of what you need while you're knitting this cowl. And also, once a week, I'm going to be recording a podcast style motivation recording. So just a theme for the week that we'll discuss um, and it will just keep you going and get you set up, motivated and knitting for the week. It's not just, oh, here we go again, it's the second week and everything kind of tails off and you lose your interest. Every single Monday you'll have a new recording in there and it will just keep us going all the way through October for the three weeks of the knit along. I would say that not all knit alongs are alike, so do go and check the details of any other knit along that you join. Some of them are just for test knitters. So it's, I need to test this pattern. Can we all come into a forum and just notice if there are mistakes in the pattern while you're knitting or something like that. Um, but this one is very much dedicated to helping you knit, getting you through and solving any problems that you have along with giving you all the information you need before you start knitting. So not all knit alongs are alike but yeah go and read all the information you need not only on mine but on anyone else's as well if that's what you if you want to explore other knit alongs throughout the year well indeed knit with hannah doesn't have any running the pre-order cart has closed so that closed last friday but we are reopening the cart on the 19th of september so get ready for that there are only a few kits left the kits that are left and indeed the digital pattern will be available um, from the 19th of September and there's more than enough time for the kit to get to you before we start on 1st of October. I will leave the link here below for the full details of the yarn, the materials, what we're knitting, that's in the video here below. Do click on that if you'd like to just refresh your mind on what we've got inside this knit I will see you next week for another video. Bye for now. Happy knitting.